Hello, my name is Miss Kim and I work for the Fort Worth Public Library. Welcome to our Vietnamese multicultural journey of a story time. Do you want to come with? We're going to have to do some magic. Ready? Okay, let's go. This is a Vietnamese traditional dress. This is called an ao yai. And what we're going to do is learn about the Vietnamese culture. Did you know that Vietnam has a lot of connections to America? Vietnamese is the third most spoken language after English and Spanish in Texas. It's great learning new languages and new cultures. Let's go ahead and sing a song in English and Vietnamese. It goes like this. We're going to say hello, and then we're going to say friends, and then we're going to say hello, and we're going to say family. And then, hello, everyone. It's time to say hello. We're going to sing that in Vietnamese. Ready? Xin chào bạn. Xin chào gia đình. Xin chào các con. Bây giờ mình nói xin chào. Great! Let's do it one more time, but in English. Hello, friends. Hello, family. Hello, everyone. It's time to say hello. Wonderful. That was beautiful. Did you notice that I changed the lyrics in order to translate it to Vietnamese? The words in Vietnamese are all tonal. That means the different sounds changes the meaning of the word. So if I were to say ma with an up tone, that means mother. But if I were to say ma with an even tone, that means monster. If we were to change the words and the tone according to a song, you would change the meaning and it would be all confusing. So let's hear that one more time. Ma, that's an up tone and that means mother. Ma, that's an even tone and that means monster. Very different. Now, let's sing a rhyme. To clap in Vietnamese means yo tai, yo tai, and cake means bánh. Let's go ahead and sing a rhyme. Yo tai, yo tai, bà cho ăn bánh, không yo tai, bà sẽ hung con. That means clap your hands, clap your hands, grandma's gonna give you cake. If you don't clap your hands, Grandma's gonna kiss you. That's such a fun rhyme. And it leads to one of my favorite things. Cake. Mmm. Bun means cake or pastry. This is a special pastry right here. It's called bun trung thu. This is a cake that we share during the holiday of the mid-autumn time. Autumn is called mùa thu. Let's go ahead and read this book called Round is a Moon Cake, a Book of Shapes, written by Roseanne Thong and illustrated by Grace Lin. Ooh. Round is a Moon Cake, a Book of Shapes. I see a circle in that bowl. <gasps> Round is a Moon Cake. Round is the moon. Round are the lanterns outside my room. Let's touch, woo, touch all the circles. Lots of circles in the trees. Those are paper lanterns. Round is a pebble that I found. A bowl of goldfish that make no sound. I see the round pebble and there's round swirlies in the background. <gasps> round are the rice bowls in our house. Round are the eyes of my curious pet mouse. Oh, look at the round decorations on the bowl. Wow, circles. Round is a ball that spins and twirls and the happy faces of boys and girls. Ooh, do you see that protective lion? He has a big round ball and big round eyeballs. Rounder cups of jasmine tea at a table beneath a tree. What other round things do you see? Mmm, I see round pieces of fruit in that cake. 
Woo, round polka dots on this chicken. And round flowers. Round as a checkerboard. No, that's not a checkerboard. Square is a checkerboard in the park. Square is my name's Chops Inky Mark. You see her name stamp? Ooh, that's a square name stamp. Square are tofu and radish cakes. Square are the sweets the bakery makes. Mmm, radish cakes are very yummy. You can get that at a dim sum restaurant. Square is the box that pizza comes in and dim sum made by Mrs. Chin. Look at the box and the pizza and there's that radish cake and we see it through square windows. Square is the basket where kittens sleep. Square is a box for secrets I keep. Ooh, and there's square tiles on the floor. Square is a window with a view. Square is my room and my family's house too. I can name more square things, can you? Ooh, I see square windows and square gates. Ooh, lots of square buildings. Rectangles are inking stones, paintbrush racks, and mobile phones. I see rectangles. Those are a little bit longer and they're not even sided. Popo's favorite Chinese lace, a very special pencil case. Ooh, and there's chickens on it, my favorite. Rectangles are sacks of rice and abacus to tell the price. Look at the abacus and there's Rectangles of seaweed, mmm, yummy. A puppet stage and homemade tickets. Rectangles are for the homes for crickets. You see the home is a rectangle cage. Lucky money on a tree, envelopes for you and me. You see the lucky money? In Vietnamese, that's li si, woo. Rectangles are books for fun, a bed to sleep in when the day is done. Can you name any other rectangles? I see a rectangle window, a rectangle picture, woo, and rectangle pillows. The end. What a great story. Can you look around your house and find circles and rectangles and squares in your home? What a great story about mooncakes and shapes. This is the shape of Vietnam. As you can see, it's not a circle or a square. <laughs> My family is from Cần Thơ. That's the south. That means we are Miền Nam. Miền Nam means we're southern. If you're northern, you are Miền Bắc. Bắc means northern. Different areas will have different dialects. And it's okay to speak a different dialect. And it's also okay to speak multiple languages. Let's go ahead and sing a song in English and Vietnamese. This song is called Kia Kong Boom Vang, which means their yellow butterfly. Let's sing it in Vietnamese first. Ready? Kia Kong Boom Vang, Kia Kong Boom Vang, Sue Doi Can, Sue Doi Can. Tung Kun Vai Nam Va Vong, Tung Kun Vai Nam Va Vong, Em Ngoi Sam. Am ngồi Sam. Great, one more time, but in English. Their yellow butterfly, their yellow butterfly, spread its wings, spread its wings, takes its flight, takes its flight. We sit and think, we sit and think. How lovely. Wow, what a great image. I love thinking about the peaceful butterfly flying and thinking about nature. Let's go ahead and read a different book, and this time we're going to learn our colors in English and Vietnamese. Come join me! Now that we learned the color yellow, let's learn other colors. This is a book all about colors. It's called Red as a Dragon, a book of colors. The author is Roseanne Thong, and it is illustrated by Grace Lin. Let's learn the colors in English and Vietnamese. Red as a Dragon a book of colors. <gasps> red is a dragon. Red is a drum. Red are the firecrackers. Here they come. And red in Vietnamese is Mao Da. Can you say that? Mao Da. 
The tone is important. Try and match me. Red are melons, cool and sweet. Red are lychees, a summer treat. Mao da. Orange are the crabs that dance in the sand, and so is the seashell I hold in my hands. And orange is Mao Cam. Can you say that? Yellow are incense sticks and flowers. Yellow are flames that burn for hours. And yellow in Vietnamese is Mao Vang. Good, Mao Vang. Yellow are raincoats and bright rubber boots. Yellow is a taxi that honks and toots, toot toot. Let's try it again, Mao Vang. Green are the toads beneath my pail, bottle gourds and crunchy kale. Green in Vietnamese is Mao San La Cai. Can you say that? Mao San La Cai. That means green like tree leaves. Green is a bracelet made of jade. Green is the purse my auntie made. Mao San La Cai. Good. Blue is a pool for making a wish. Dragonflies and shimmering fish. And in Vietnamese, blue is Mao San Ya Trai. Mao San Ya Trai. And that means blue like the skin of the sky. Blue are the sneakers on my shelf. Blue is the ribbon I won myself. One more time. Mao San Ya Trai. Purple are clouds at the end of the day. Purple is a kite that sails away. And purple in Vietnamese is Mao Tiem. Mao Tiem. Pink is a peony. Pink is a rose. Pink is the sunlight on my nose. And in Vietnamese, pink is Mao Hong. Mao Hong. Pink are are an opera singer's eyes and a silk fan that hides her surprise. Pink is Mao Hong. Good. Brown is my grandpa's hat I wear. Brown is my favorite teddy bear. And brown is Mao Nao. Mao Nao. White are noodles and chopsticks. Two white are dumplings for me and you. In Vietnamese, white is Mao Trang. Mao Trang. The world is a rainbow for us to explore. What colors are waiting outside your door? Ooh, what colors do you see? I see the dress. Her dress is Mao Hom, pink. And the grass, grass is Ga. And the grass is Mao San La Cai. Wonderful. The end. What a great book about colors. If you've picked up a take and make kit, this sheet is available for you. It is a color scavenger hunt. To look for colors, the word in Vietnamese would be the mao sac. Can you find the colors in your house? Find the colors in the boxes below. So we have all these toys. I just went around my house and I found a bunch of toys and I pulled them over here. So let's match the colors with the toys. Black, Mao Dang. Ooh, I have this black hat. This little toy hat right here, black. Ooh, white, Mao Trang. Ah, ha ha. I have this little toy wig, and that is a white wig. Mm hmm. Ooh, we have purple, Mao Tiem. I went and I cut out some pictures, and you can rip out some pictures from your advertisements in the mail. Ooh, purple grapes. Blue, Mao San. Mao San Ya Trai. Blue, ah, I have this magnet letter. That's blue. Mao San La Cai. Ooh, green. Another letter. Mao Cam, orange. I have this fun planet. Mao Vang. I have another wig or a hat for a puppet. Yay! Mao Da. Ooh, I have a red little spider that fits. I don't know if you recognize me. And Mao Nao. Brown. Boom! We finished! How fun! I hope you have fun doing your scavenger hunt at your house. 
I hope you enjoyed the scavenger hunt game that's provided to you in the take and make craft bags. Don't worry if your Vietnamese is not perfect. Nobody is perfect. It's more important that you keep your culture than worry about perfection. Thank you so much for joining me in this Vietnamese multicultural story time. The Fort Worth Public Library.org website is here for you. We have multicultural resources like books and ebooks, all for free. Residents of the city of Fort Worth can always register for online library cards through the website fortworthlibrary.org. Thank you so much, and this is Miss Kim signing off. Bye!